Everyone should know that beating women is a no-no in 2020. But unfortunately, there is a religion, there is a prophet who allows Muslim husbands to beat their wives. Islam. If you live in the United States and you beat a dog on the streets, they will take you to jail. They will lock you up. What about beating a lady? Huh? Now, a Muslim lady by the name of Fatima Aydarus sent me the following comment. At Rob Christian, quote unquote, it's haram for men to hit women in Islam, so you are wrong. When the Prophet وسلم, was in his last days, he kept telling men to respect their wives. Now let us see if this is true. I responded to her, so let us read what I said to her. And I responded by saying the following, quote unquote, at Fatima Idaris, you are telling me that Muhammad and Allah are liars in the Quran? Chapter 4, Ayah 34, strike them, wadribuhunna? Are you telling me that the Quran is not for always? Is that what you're trying to say now? Why should any woman who respects herself follow a book or a fake prophet like Muhammad who taught his men to beat their wives if they just fear that their wives are going to be disobedient. I pity your way of thinking. And I continued saying, quote unquote, it's time for you to start thinking. It's 2020, wake up. You are a perfect example of a Muslimah in denial. Many Muslims like you have no clue about Islam or Quran. Now she responded to me and said, At Rob Christian, I am not in denial, you are clueless. The way you translate Wadribhunna is a very big exaggeration. And I noticed in your video that you are the type of person who exaggerates every little detail. Firstly, nobody in Islam is allowed to hit a child or woman on the face. And they are not allowed to hit someone until it leaves a mark. So how hard can you hit without leaving any mark? Stop exaggerating everything. You are full of lies. So I sent a response and said the following. Fatima Aydarus, it's crazy that a woman like you is defending beating of other women. You are nuts. Let me show you how you are in denial. I think you forgot the Sahih Bukhari Hadith. Hmm. Let us see what the Sahih Bukhari Hadith says. So I continued with my response and provided the Sahih Bukhari Hadith. The Hadith follows by saying, Rif'a divorced his wife whereupon Abdul Rahman bin Az Zubair al Qurayzi married her. Aisha said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her i.e. Aisha, of her husband and showed her a green spot on her skin caused by beating. It was the habit of ladies to support each other. So when Allah's messenger came, Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing Muslim women. Look! says Aisha. Her skin is greener than her clothes. And I continued saying the following, quote unquote, your prophet didn't punish the guy for beating his wife and her skin turned green because of the beating. He actually defended the man. The Quran allows beating of wives in Quran chapter 4, ayah 34. Are you even a real Muslim? I'm waiting for a response from this lady Fatima.
قضية الضرب دي شبهة خطيرة جدا نعم. واحدة واحدة معنا مولانا أقول إن الله كرم المرأة بهذه العقوبة عقوبة الضرب كيف؟ كرمها بالضرب هي والله مش معقول كيف؟ كيف؟ قال نبينا صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم ولا تضرب الوجه الله ولا تقبح م. شوف كرمها إن ضربها لا يضربها على وجهها حتى وهو يضربها لا يسبها ولا يشتمها عجيب إذا هو يضرب للتأديب وإذا ضرب لا يزيد عن عشر وإذا ضرب لا يكسر عظمة ولا يقطع لحمة ولا يكسر سنة ولا يفقع عين أدب عند الضرب إذا ضرب عند التأديب لا يرفع يده إلى أعلى بل يضربها بحذاء صدره كل هذا تكريم للمرأة هي تحتاج إلى تأديب تحتاج إلى تأديب فكيف يؤدبها زوجها بالوعظ فإن لم ترتدع ولا تنزجر بالهجران فإن لم تنزجر بالضرب وجعل شروطا للضرب لا تضرب الوجه ولا تقبح وأنت تضرب لا تقبح لا تسب ولا تشتم يا ابنة كذا أنت كذا لا ممنوع هذا في طيب الإسلام يا تكريم لها يضربها بإيه يضرب نعم بعصا صحيح قالوا ان ضربها يضربها ضربا غير مبرح لا يترك اثرا يضربها بعصا قصيره واذا ضربها لا يضربها على وجهها ولا على اماكن الراس التي تؤذي بل يضربها على بدنها ويفرق الضرب كل هذا اختيار اختيار لاجراء العقوبه لكن هذا لا يكون الا عند استحاله الوسائل السابقه كمن تكريم الاسلام للمراه انه لم يجز العقوبه بالضرب كما قال اهل العلم الا في حاله واحده عند امتناعها عن فراشه ان ضربها يضربها ضربا غير مبرح لا يترك اثرا إن ضربها يضربها ضربا غير مبرح لا يترك أثرا Here I found some comments under the video of the Sheikh or Imam who was explaining how beautiful it is to beat a woman this person by the name of clan gun says don't beat her in the face wow what a gent cedric1987 said i'm a saudi woman who lives in saudi arabia get me out of here fatanadaya says allah honored the women by beating them ha 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 what a jerk and this person by the name NTE Ipsum79909 says, and I quote, I'm thinking about leaving Islam for this. The things that this man was saying were insane. So as you see, no normal person in 2020 should actually accept that a woman should be beaten by any man only because a desert Arab in the shape of Muhammad 1400 years ago said it's halal to beat your wives in Islam time to think people either you're going to stay in this cult in this filth called Islam or you're going to reject Muhammad leave Islam and Lord willing, you can accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Thank you for watching.